Hello everyone. I am back for another layout that I am ready to put together titled You Are My Sunshine. <clears throat> this is going to be for the baby album that I'm working on. And so let me tell you my title is from Simply Sweet. It's cut at one and a half inches high. My cloud border is from Everyday Paper Dolls and it is cut at eight and a half inches wide because that's how wide my paper is and it is 1.77 inches high and my sun is from Create a Critter it is three inches high and then this I just um, cut a circle and then used a, a decorative scissors which I put it away let me see find it. Back. It's this. I uh, used and just cut around the circle to make it so it kind of looks like the sun. <clears throat> so I just used a stencil and I could probably take, can we take it out? I can probably measure it for you just in case you want to cut that size circle using your Cricut. Um, it is about it's three and a half. So it's three and a half. And I took color, I think it's called color box. Color box. I use this color box ink. And I use the, I'm not sure what color this is. Let me look. Orange. And I inked this circle and the out of this outside of this sun and on the circle for the inside of the sun. I used marigold and I also used that same to ink the sides of my mats. And my photo mats are uh, three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And the sun is three inches high. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Okay. So this is kind of how I'm going to have it laid out. So I'm going to try to leave this stuff on the bottom on there so I kind of can use that to put this, my top ones down. So we got something on my, yeah it's okay. Here we go. to be just underneath here but I didn't want it and I did cut two layers of the of the uh, cloud I cut one in a darker blue let me take it up so I can show you I cut one in a dark in a darker blue and then I cut the top one, of course. And I used some foam. You can kind of see it here. I used foam to pop the, the top layer up from the back, from the bottom layer. Okay. Now that I've got that down, I can use that one as my guide for the others. This one up. I didn't get this one over far enough. Okay, good. Actually, it might help if I have this straight. Oops. 
even. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put down my top letters. And I think I will use this zig two way. I got this light, but it likes to. I guess it's joys of having glass it shines. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Oops. Let me lay these down first. So I make sure I do not, because it's got to cover the frame a little bit, which is okay. I just gotta make sure these are gonna be even on both sides. Alright. So it looks good, I kinda wanted it just at the edge of the paper. And so. I have to remember not to glue the bottom of the letter because that has to be yeah, I didn't, where she puts her pictures. All right, now for the U. doesn't get up here. This one needs to be moved down just slightly. So they're even. Reese, go, goodbye, goodbye. Sorry, babe, but I ain't got time for these right now. <laughs> Alright, let me take these off. These letters. And I'm going to attempt to put this frame down first. Oh my goodness, cat. Goodbye. Because my lettering's going down here. And this will have to go over here. Up a little bit. I think that looks good, just like that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and glue the sun. So, let me 
Blue clouds. And that's going to cover this. to get put down. Let me see where this is going to go. Come out like that. Or should I put it over here? Or do this over like this. I think like that. None of these letters flipped over. I'm going to use my ATG to glue down this sun. put some, I just cut two squares and put that uh, behind this, for this top circle layer of the sun from Create a Critter. Just so that way the pink cheeks show through. I'm just going to use Peachy King Everyday Faces, but I forgot to hide the contours of the sun's face, so it cut it out, so that's alright. I'll use the face they have provided. Alright. Actually, before I glue these down, I want to make sure that it is going to look right. Fit on here. So it has to be spaced just so, otherwise, once you get to the other end, it's not going to fit the E. So it's usually a good idea if you've got letters like this, especially if it's a long title. Ooh, where's my paper? I'm going to cut this one and make sure my eye is right. This way, or do we go this way, or does it matter? Actually, it flips. So it's a good thing I checked that. Whoops. Yeah, this way. Okay, so now I have everything laid out so I'll know where it needs to be placed. So here we go. sure if I'm going to do any sort of any doodling or anything like that. I've been thinking about it, but I'm not so sure it needs it because I did ink around the, the journaling, the little sun to journal, and around the sun and the clouds, the cloud border and the that sun. I'm not sure that I, I think I might just leave 
the letters alone. I think. I could take a look at it once everything's all done. I don't think I'm doing too bad. This is my second video today, so I've gotten two layouts done so far today. I don't have my gypsy. I boxed my gypsy up. It's headed back to Provocraft tomorrow. FedEx is coming to get it. So, it's kind of depressing to use. Not that I don't like Cricut Craft Room. I do. It's just gypsy's a little easier because my cartridges are all on it. Cricut Craft Room, they don't have the abilities yet. They a month ago, they've been saying that they're going to come up with a way to link your Gypsy, car the cartridges you have linked to Gypsy, they're going to come up with a way to link it to the Cricut Craft Room, and I don't see any notices where they've done that yet. It would be so much easier than having to take out one cartridge, put in another. I have a jukebox, but it's still a pain. Anyway, that... Let me zoom out, zoom out a little bit. And that is my second layout for today. And I will take pictures to show you more detail. And I thank you for watching. Bye.